Hey guys, it's Jeremy from HowToHockey.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can make your hockey shooting and hockey target practice a lot more fun without actually having any hockey targets. I'm going to get right to that, but first I'm going to answer the question that you're probably all asking, where'd you get that sweet shirt? This is from uh, Scrappers Hockey. It's a sweet hockey shirt, love it. I'm going to be wearing it a lot this summer. They have a bunch of other shirts. I picked up two at the hockey show I just went to. If you want to see some of the, more of their shirts, check out ScrappersHockey.com. I uh, really like their design and the whole thing they got going on on their website. But uh, first, I'm going to have to get some hockey targets. I'll be one second. I'm just going to run to the dollar store. All right, I'm back. Got a whole bag of goodies and some pool noodles. Uh, let me show you what's in this bag. Besides the pool noodles, I got a bunch of other stuff. Uh, everything is just a buck a piece, but it can all be used for a target if you just fasten it to the net. So I got some sponges. I got an uh, inflatable inner tube. A couple packs of balloons. Got some water balloons. Uh, got a bunch of these little letters. I'll set them up and show you a little game that you can play with those. And what else? Of course, uh, some string. So I'm going to set all this up on the net and show you how I did it. I've got the net all rigged up here. Looks more like an event at the fair rather than a net. So this is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I've got these letters, S-N-I-P-E, snipe. And the idea of these is you have to hit each letter, so you spell snipe, you can play with your friends. Uh, I think that's going to be pretty fun. I just used some sticky tape, but uh, the ideal situation would be have a magnet that you can uh, glue to the back and then you can just stick it on the net anywhere. So that's how I'd do it if I were to go full out there. I uh, just put a smiley face balloon in the target right there. I've got some sponges attached with bungee cords. Bungee cords are only a dollar as well. And then I've got these pool noodles, sort of uh, to make quadrants in the net. So the first one you can go uh, noodle up <laughs> if you'd like, or uh, inside the noodle, or you can go noodle down if you want to hit the noodle and put it in the net. Uh, I've also got this inner tube right here, that's the five hole. And hopefully uh, I can hit all these targets. Oh, and right here I've got a regular balloon filled with water. Uh, and i got some water balloons up here attached to the top of the net. If I were to do the water balloons on a regular basis, I'd probably build some sort of water balloon holder because it takes a while to, to get them all up there. So that's what I got and I'm going to get out the, uh, the old stick and puck and snipe some of these. Alright, so I'm shooting from 25 feet out. No warm up so don't give me any grief if I miss a few. And I'm going to go for that little pink balloon, uh, water balloon right off the start. See if I can nail it. Oh! Well there goes the noodle. Boom! There, second shot, nailed it. Let's go for that bigger yellow water balloon. That left corner just sagging there, left side. Boom! <laughs> you gotta love that. Alright, next target. Uh, the big water balloon, top right. Oh, sorry, not a water balloon. It's a top right balloon. Okay, let's throw a couple through that tube. Let's see how it holds up. I think I might have to invest in some better string though. Oh, tube seems alright. Send one through that. Just hitting it. Alright, five hole snapper. Woo! This is it, blue water blend. Oh, just nicked it. Alright, let's go for some of those letters. See if I can do the whole thing. Start with the S. First shot. Oh, nailed it. Going for the end. Let's take a look at the damage. I was talking about a few things I would change. I love having those letters up there, spelling snipe. Uh, I think that was pretty cool. If I were to do it again, uh, which I will, I'm gonna get some strong magnets and put them, uh, like super glue them to the back of the letters so then you can uh, stick the letters anywhere on the net and they'll stay there. Uh, one of them was falling off so I had to keep on uh, sticking it back on there. Um, for tying things to the net, you can see none of the noodles are really left. Uh, I'm gonna get some stronger string because this uh, string I got from the dollar store is just complete junk, it just rips and uh, you can see there's not much left on there. I really love that inner tube as the five hole. That's a great idea. Even if you have a tire sitting around or you go to like the junkyard and you get a tire, I'd put it right there and uh, kids have something to shoot at or you have something to shoot at. So I love that idea. So I'm gonna get some better string. Um, this noodle is still on there because I put it on again with a bungee cord. Having the balloons and the target, I thought that was a lot of fun. Uh, it's cool when you shoot something and it explodes. And uh, just in case you're wondering, this is the easy goal I'm shooting on. It's got the backstop right here, which is key if you're doing target practice because it keeps you from chasing pucks into the backyard. And just a few modifications I've done. I've had this one for two years. Uh, I wore holes in the net, so I got some fishing net to put on the back. And the posts, uh, they're a little bit dented pretty much everywhere, but the net's still standing up. I'm still shooting on it, so I definitely still recommend it. If you want, I have a $10 coupon code for the easy goal. Uh, just hop in the link in the video description and I'll link to where you can get it and I'll put the coupon code there as well.
that's it there's a few ways you can make your target practice a bit more fun if you guys have any ideas let me know in the video description and i'd love to hear them or on our website because i'll post a full article for this as well with a few pictures and i'm definitely going to grab some better string and magnets for those letters and the noodles and i love having that inner tube in there it's cool to have a little five hole spot to shoot so thanks a lot for watching the videos let me know your ideas in the video description and uh, don't forget to check out scrappershockey.com for some sweet hockey swag thanks a lot guys see you in the next video